All while you praying for somebody else, it'll give you strength. Come on now. You know why? Because you can lay down that burden. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just entering into prayer. Amen. Amen. That you went down burden. Hallelujah. But you can rise up. Hallelujah. And strength. Come on, somebody. Just when you thought you heard it all and couldn't take no more. But you went down in prayer. And God gave you another power to face another day. Amen. Another issue. Another yeah. problem. Another blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Even another curse. Men that speak things about us. Amen. But we're standing in the power of God. Can we say hallelujah for that? That is the highest God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is. Amen. God is worthy. Worthy. Worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I don't need no B3. Hallelujah. Organ. Hallelujah. And I don't even have to hear we've been being do for a night, but joy comes in the morning because what's down on the inside. Hallelujah. Has a will. Let me know that everything going to be all right. Can I get a witness here? If I can just stay in touch with the master. Hallelujah. Everything, in fact, will be all right. It's going to be all right anyway, but sometimes we can't see it. But when you drench yourself in worship, it has the ability to reach you and cleanse you and refresh you at the same time. Come on, somebody. You know you'd have lost your mind a long time ago. Amen. But I'm here. Amen. Because I decided to worship him. Hallelujah. You wonder why God said, I'm looking for somebody. that are, You want to be seen by God? You ain't got to walk on water. You ain't got to get your body to be burned. But God said he's seeking such to worship him in spirit and in truth. So if you really want to be seen by God, I tell you to be honest with yourself. God, I'm not worthy. But God, I worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Born and shaping in iniquity. Yes, Hallelujah. Did things that I'm ashamed of, but I'm no longer ashamed of you, dear Father. Hallelujah. I know I'm not worthy. Hallelujah. That's why we stand strong. Because if I can make it, I know you can. Hallelujah. Because Jesus got up. He got up that we might have that life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. Riches and fame ain't got nothing to do with this abundant life that I'm talking about. Can I get a witness here? I ain't got to have two pennies to rub together and still have abundant life. Come on, somebody. I ain't got to ride in a luxury car to have abundant life. I ain't got to live on a house on a thousand hills to have an abundant life. All I need is Jesus. It's the sweetest name I know. It'll make you talk strange languages. Hallelujah. It'll make you love them jokers that's hating on you. It'll allow you to bless people who are cursing you. It'll allow you to pray for somebody that's talking about you. Jealous of you. Mad because you found a way. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 This the God I serve. I got to make it personal this morning. You got to speak for yourself. Hallelujah. Sometimes we ain't speaking French. I can't holler we. Amen. I got to say I because I don't know. Sometimes your enemy right behind you. Sometimes it's in front of you. Sometimes it's beside you. Hallelujah. But I, I know that God, hallelujah, is everything he say he is and much, much more. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you that God shared this day. Watch this. And because God shared this day Everything that you need Now if God give you something He ain't going to give you nothing to fail So if he gave you this day Everything you need And y'all hear me Each and every day that you get up If God gave you the day And he did He gave you everything that you're going to need From the rising of the sun To the going down of the sand It's going to be hard He didn't say he, you weren't going to get knocked down He didn't say you may fall down He didn't say you may not trip up but what he did say, hallelujah, if I gave you this day, I promise you that what you need to live this day according to my will, I've already set before you. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, don't miss your nugget. Hallelujah. 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 Don't miss your nugget. Can I get a witness here? God is God all by himself. But we got to let go of this world so that we can keep our eyes stayed on him. And he'll keep you in what type of peace? Oh, ain't nobody perfect. The devil is a lie. We're going to deal with that lying spirit that's in the church. That'll make hallelujah. Oh, my God. It's a lying spirit that done crept up in the church, y'all. 
I'm telling you, that's why you can have homosexual pastors, because it's a lying spirit. That's how two men can come together like husband and wife into the house of God, because there's a lying spirit. I don't care who it is, hallelujah. I didn't come to wrestle with your sons and your daughters. I didn't come to wrestle with your mama and your daddy and your sisters and your brother, but I come to wrestle against that lying spirit. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. People get issues with you because they got kids that's messed up. Family members messed up like you talking about them. No, I'm talking about that deceiver, that, 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 that devil, amen, that Satan, hallelujah, amen, that has confused their mind, hallelujah. The last I checked it wasn't a lie that set me free, but it's the truth that set me free. Come on, somebody, stop condemning your people to hell. By agreeing with their unrighteousness and their ungodliness and their iniquities and transgression and sin. You condemning them to hell. And Jesus said, I come not to condemn nobody. But that they might be saved. Yes. I mean, know the truth. Yes. I'll make you free. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Instead of petting that son or that daughter. Amen. You let them know, no, baby, that's a lying spirit. Amen. Come here, and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, you a boy, you're going to be one. Amen, you a daughter, you a girl, you're going to be one. I rebuke that lying spirit. You have to learn how the Bible says, watch this, and this is what I like about the word of God. Amen, the Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue. It don't say the power of a saint or the power of a devil, but you have the ability, it says tongue. Amen, can I get a witness here? Amen, that mother, hallelujah, they ain't got to know God, can speak some things into existence. Because the Bible said that death and life is in the power of a of the tongue. Didn't it say believer? That's it. That's it. it said tongue. Yeah. What are we speaking? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God loves you. That's all I'm trying to tell you. But you're going to have to love him back. I heard one preacher say he's a just God. He sure is, but where are you? Can I get a witness here? God is just by himself, but are you just? Hallelujah. Where are you? Sometimes, you know, people have a way of trying to throw God when they've been hit, mm -hmm. when their feet been stepped on. Uh -huh. Can I get it with them? When they're walking in the way of hell, they'll come back and tell you, God is a just God. Yeah, he sure is. Yes. Remember, where are you? Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Where are you with this just God? Because he is just. Yes, he is. He's just right. Mm -hmm. And he can never be wrong. How many know that we serve that God? Yes. Hallelujah. He's more than the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah, but he's the father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And somebody ought to be able to say, he's my God. He's my God. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness here? And I won't look back. I won't look back. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to turn you back. Amen. But I won't look back. I act just like I don't hear that devil. Amen. I won't look back. Hallelujah. I hear what you're saying, but I won't look back. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Well, I think we are ready. Thank God for our praise team. And I hope that our spirits are prepared and ready, amen, amen for a move of God, amen. Yes. Now, when I say move of God, I'm not trying to be deep. It's just the truth. Amen. I pray that somebody, that God will move somebody, yes. hallelujah, to a closer walk with Jesus. You, that's the move of God I'm looking for. Yes. That somebody that's been struggling, whose eyes have been blind and ears have been deaf. Amen. That the hallelujah move of God will cause them to hear that their hearts be open, that they can be, amen, repent of their sins genuinely and sincerely and start loving through the word of God. Amen. 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 We know that there's a thin line between deep and dawn. And many have strayed away. Let's look at 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to read a couple of verses, give you a text. Pray. When you have to say, man, 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Amen. 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 We was round that way in the second chapter for our morning scripture. Amen. <laughs> we shall be familiar with where Amen. we are. Thank you, Lord. I pray that I'll have it. We're going to go away, man. Go ahead. Amen. We're going to say, man, we, he, they know who we waiting on. Amen. Hit that camera again. We'll clip you. <laughs> Amen. Make sure we ain't out focus right there. Red flip flaps. You hit that uh, camera again. We don't have problems, son. Amen. We live focus. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We, we, we. All right. Okay. You didn't see no pitchforks and no thorns on my head, did you? 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> okay, a mirror all does good like a mess. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Our children found that to be hilarious. God bless. We have it now. We just want to, you know, kind of give somebody some time. Amen. They had a BDB Bible, so. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's see. You know, touch said the man name. Amen. Can you see? Can you see, son? Okay, I'm gonna look over there so they think, you know. Amen. Blaze the blaze, blaze the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's get into it, y'all. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, looking at the first verse. It said, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. As we have received what? Mercy. We what? Mercy ain't giving you to continue in sin. Yeah, hallelujah, somebody. It ain't giving to you to faint. Come on, it ain't giving for you to be up one minute, down the next. Amen. Believe in one minute and unbelieve in the next. Come on. It says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Amen. Sound like you're saying if you got mercy, you ought to be faint. And if you faint, you ain't got it. I told you, grace, amen, is for the believer. Amen. Hallelujah. But have renounced, listen to this, them secret things. All that stuff you're doing behind closed doors, the music you're listening to when ain't nobody listening. Amen. Watch this, but have to renounce the hidden things of what? Dishonesty. Uh, see, if you read your Bible, you know, see, the problem is we got too many people reading the Bible or ain't reading the Bible, and so they leave dishonesty up to their opinion or what the world calls dishonesty. You see what I'm saying? But God will tell you what dishonesty is. Come on, somebody, and tell you the results of it, too. It says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Watch this. Not walking in craftedness. Huh. Trickery. Amen. Nor handling the word of God, what? Deceitfully. Come on, somebody. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. If that word says one thing, don't you go tell the people that that ain't what that means. Amen. Come on, somebody. It is what God says it is, but by manifestation of the truth, watch this, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, listen to this, it is hid to them that are lost. I would be worried if I couldn't understand the word of God. I told you, we need God to open our eyes of what? Let us pray. I leave with you this message and ask that you would subject yourselves to it. Amen. Preparation for paradise. Preparation for paradise. Dear Father, we thank you. Lord God, we give you all of the honor and glory and praise today. We thank you for each and every soul that has entered in this place. And Lord, we carefully... Dear Father, feed and nourish them, Lord God, with your word. We carefully, Lord God, introduce them, Lord God, to your spirit. Lord God, this, their tears are not by accident. Lord God, strange languages and words coming out of their mouths is not by accident. But Lord God, it is an introduction, dear Father, unto us, Lord God, that there is much more, Lord God, than their eyes can see. Lord God, there is much more than this heart, Lord God, can realize and come to know. And it is Jesus, dear Father. We thank you, Lord God, for your magnificent word. We thank you for the Holy Ghost, Lord Lord God, yes. that gives us strength, dear Father, to be able to, Lord God, to yes. adjust ourselves to the things that we would naturally do, dear Father. Lord God, the Holy Ghost is a keeper. The Holy Ghost is a way maker. The Holy Ghost is a comforter. The Holy Ghost gives us strength and power. Amen. The Holy Ghost gives us knowledge of your will. Lord God, in the middle of a will. When we in between, Lord God, making decisions, Lord God, we in battle with the will of our flesh and the will of our spirit. Lord God, it's a will in the middle of the wheels, dear Father. In in the mighty name of Jesus. We're not talking about a truck tie. We're not talking about a bike tie. God, but we're talking about the wheel that lies down in the heart of man. Father God, that Jesus is the wheel in the middle of a wheel. So when we're caught up, Lord God, between earth and heaven, we're caught up between life and death. God, we choose Jesus, Father God, because he is the wheel in the middle of a wheel. Lord God, we thank you today. God, we ask that you will have your way, Lord God. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord God, open our understanding in every area of our our lives and in his name we pray let the church say amen, amen. come on somebody tell the Lord thank you I want to show you something in the word of God today <clears throat> as we prepare for paradise we don't mean to condemn anyone to hell or to push them into heaven Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. 
But we come to prepare you for paradise. If you leave here before Christ return, to be absent from the body, the Bible tells us is to be what? Present, Present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. We find a hint of this, which we'll see in our closing today, that there was a man that was not instructed that he would see Jesus in heaven, but that he would be with him in paradise. Yeah. So let's listen to these words as we see a dilemma between the flesh and the spirit. There is a dilemma. There is a lying spirit that has crept up in the church and created chaos. Come on, somebody. A man that a person can be a sheep by the way they talk, a sheep by the way it appears they walk, but on the inside, a man, they are rabbit and wolves. Jesus warned us of these type of people. Even God said, I will allow a lying spirit to enter into the mouth of the prophet. Can I get a witness here? Hallelujah! That you, but if you, if you, when you study the word, you know whether this prophet is from God or not. Can I get a witness here? That's why the Bible, Amen, strategically tell us that there are going to be many on that day that have prophesied. It does not indicate whether it came to pass because we tend to think, Amen, that if it come to pass, they must be real. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Hallelujah! There are a whole lot of lying devils that tell the truth. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Hallelujah, because they know the end. If they lead you into deception and tell you you're going to die and you die, amen, that don't mean they're a true prophet. Amen. Hallelujah, they know the order of scripture. The wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. So the Bible has strategically led us that said that, amen, that on that day that many will say that I prophesied in your name and I cast out devils in your name and I've done many wonderful works. And yet Jesus said, I would declare to them, amen, depart from me, ye workers of what? Iniquity, for I never knew you. There's a lying spirit that has crept in the church. And people are being fooled. You got a whole lot of people think they're on the way to heaven. They literally believe that. They're doing things. They're supporting things. They're, amen. They're promoting things that is clearly anti God. But Jesus said the Antichrist is already here. The spirit of the Antichrist is already here. That people are beginning to teach and promote things instead of God. Come on. That's what anti is. Amen. It's not just against God, but it's something that you put in place of God. Come on, somebody. And, and instead of preaching God, we preach something else in his stead. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. And so this is the hour that we're in, people of God. And so now, here's, the, here's a true prophet. Here's a true servant of God who has come, amen, instructed by God to tell you that I come to prepare you for paradise. No preacher ought to be preparing nobody for hell, but there are a whole lot of them doing it. And they doing it feeling good about it. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. And that's a sad time we living in. People won't pick up this Bible and study for themselves. Yeah, how can you hear without a preacher? But at least when the preacher start preaching, you ought to sometimes be able to confirm that, my God, God, I was in that scripture or that book today. Right. Or sometime this week, people of God. Right. I told you God gave you a nugget a long time ago. And this is for the season, not for the babes. Not that God showing perspective person, it just it is. Can I get a witness here? It's like it is. God is not showing perspective person when uh, when He ain't said depart from me. It just it is. It, it is. It's the truth. So God said, if you meditate on me day and night, Amen. Then it is a type. Amen. It is a type of worship. It is a type. Amen. Of study. You open yourself up. Amen. Through scriptures. Come on. After reading and studying it, amen, you begin to meditate on the word of God and you open yourself up and God will begin to speak to you. Hallelujah. You know, how many know that it takes God to serve God? Amen. We word, read in the word um, not too long ago. Amen. I might, it might have been wisdom light that literally we must be dressed in Christ. Hallelujah. We must take upon, amen. God is going to view us, amen, as we, amen, are in Christ. If we're not in Christ, amen, then we're not in the church. Right. And neither are we a part of God's body. Amen. So I want you to understand these scriptures. It is a preparation for paradise. Let's get with it. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. Let's start. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, which we've already elaborated on, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Mm -hmm. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in what? Craftiness. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. The NLT said we reject all shameful deeds. And underhanded methods. Come on, somebody. We don't trick 
of we don't try to trick anyone or distort the word of God. But you got a whole lot of people that is tricking people with this prosperity message, that is tricking people. Amen. And I want to tell you something. You be careful because now the people who are doing, I told you this not too long ago, that there is a market strategy out there now. And that people are beginning to, to call the word of God, the name of God, and the symbol, which is the cross, amen, offensive to people. And so these market people who are not connected to God will enter into your church and tell you and promise you growth and promise you. And see, that's what people want. They'll rather have 3,000 members, amen, than 100 faithful members. And so they are telling people, amen, that really the name of God is offensive. And if you really want to draw people, amen, you got to take the cross down, change your name, amen, hallelujah, to some generic name that does not involve the name of God. Don't say God, don't say Christ. Amen. You know how, amen, when you begin to put up, amen, you open up a website, amen, you want to look up keywords, amen, that is going to cause your site to be visible a little bit quicker, being somebody missed one, mentioned one of those cold words. So if you say holy, amen, you'll put in holy, you'll put in church, you might put in holiness, amen, you might have put in holy ghost, you might put in holy spirit. So if somebody comes looking for holy church, amen, it will bring your church up a little bit quicker. Why? Because you have put in one of those key words. Now, on the other side, if you take the key word down, now people are not coming looking for God because you don't took God down. They come and looking for the church. <laughs> and you wonder why judgment is stunning in the house of God, which is the church, the body of Christ. And so people are literally market, amen, these little young guys and girls, amen, don't know nothing about God. Amen, it's promising increase. And watch this, because they have been sent by Satan, amen, the increase is going to come. Come on, somebody. And all the while, amen, we're going to be creating that. Well, they, they're going to be creating ideas, amen, to draw people in. And people, and really what they're doing, they are conforming to the world. And y'all know that's a red flag, don't you? And they're going to say amen in their pride and their arrogance. Look at my 5,000 and look at your two. Who's, who's right and who's wrong? Because to them, they believe that gain is godliness. Let's go to 2 Timothy, I believe. Or 1 Timothy, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, let me pull it up. And I'm going to show you something. Hmm. Give me just a second because I want to pull it up. When the Holy Ghost is speaking, you just got to run with it. Let's go to 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter. Because they say that gain is God, right? Well, let's see what you want to know what the Bible says. Don't you want to know? Amen. Amen. Huh? All right, all right. Amen. I do too, baby. I want to know what the Bible says. Amen. Anybody else want to know what the Bible says? Amen. 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 I know that's right. Amen. Uh, uplifting hands. I want to know what the Bible says. Amen. Everybody got it? Amen. I want you to feast your eyes on this. Amen. We're going to start so they don't think we just, you know, trying to prove a point. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all right if it's God's point, and it is. Amen. Let's see what the third verse says. If any man teach otherwise, come on, somebody, Amen. and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of who? Our Lord Jesus Christ, 1 Timothy 6 and 3. Uh, and to the doctrine which is according to what? Godliness. Come on, somebody. He is what? He is proud, knowing nothing, but doubting about questions and strifes of words, whereof coming envy, strife, relish, evil submissions. Listen what it says now. Perverse disputings of men of what? They got corrupt minds and they are destitute of the truth. Amen. Supposing, listen, uh -huh. that gain is godliness. Do you hear that, people of God? Now, listen what the Bible commands us to do. From such withdraw thyself. Do you hear that? Yes. Then he goes on to say, but godliness with what? Contentment. Therefore, for a person to take down the name of God off of the building or the marquee. Come on, somebody. Amen. Clearly. Amen. Hallelujah. This person is not with God because they supposing, watch this, but godliness with contentment. Obviously, they not content with the name of God. 
See, because they believe that gain is godliness, and the Bible says that these individuals are perverse, disputing of men of corrupt minds, and they are destitute of the truth. Amen. Supposing that gain is gotten from such withdraw thyself. That's why I don't care how many members you got, ain't got to preach in your pulpit. Amen. Because I'm going to tell Satan's kingdom down. So they'll probably end up escorting me out anyway. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, people of God. But godliness with contentment is what? Great gain. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. That, isn't that the word? That's the word? Let me go a little further. For we brought nothing in this word. Cause let's see. Watch this. Listen to this. Listen to these prosperity preachers. Yeah. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. So the game that I'm talking about is literally what it is. Mm -hmm. See, because they see people, the more people, the more money. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. It, it feeds their insecurity. I'm the pastor of 5,000 members. Oh, they just feel real good about it. You know, straight back. Amen. You know, hey. you know, I mean, I'm sorry, Lord. Amen. They just feel real good about it. You hear what I'm saying, people of God? Amen. You can't tell them that, but watch what it said. But they that will be, uh-oh, let me finish eight. And and ha let me feel this out. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having a verse, and having food, and raiment, let us be what? <laughs> Therewith content. But these are things we need to be concerned about. Now watch what he says to make sure we know what he's talking about. But they that will be what? Rich. Say it again. Rich. Say it one more time. Rich. Fall into rich for the CD's sake. Fall into what? Temptation. And a snare. And into many foolish and harmful, hurtful lusts, which drown men in what type? Destruction and what else? Which is hell, perdition, which is hell. Then he makes it real claim, real play. For the love of what? Money is what? The root of all evil, all evil, not some, all evil, which who, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the what? Faith. Come on, somebody. And pierce themselves through with many sorrows. And don't even know it. Come on, somebody. This is the type of things, it's a lying spirit that's in the church. Come on, if they ain't teaching you how to live holy, how you teach a person how to live holy? You teach them how to you teach them how to dress. You teach them how to love one another. Amen. You teach them how to look. Amen. You teach them how to handle themselves. You teach them how to carry themselves. Amen. Everything about us. If the Bible talks about the attire of a harlot and we want to say God ain't looking on the outside, amen. Did you so enough food? Can I get a witness here? He teach them, amen, how to live holy. Amen. Holiness is not listen here. See the problem here, we think holy is just a Bible. Holiness is a lifestyle. Holiness is a way of living. And if I'm dressing, amen, every day, amen, then guess what? That's a lifestyle. Hallelujah, people of God. I ain't got to have on red bottoms. Hallelujah. I ain't got to have on alligator shoes. But holiness is a lifestyle. And the Bible lets us know if any man be in who? Christ Jesus. He's a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Amen. This new life, this born again life. Can I get a witness here? Now, the world will say that we can't, we, what we going to do then? The world will say you stop living and God will say you just got born again. All right. It's a new life in Jesus. It's called a spiritual life where you got to do what? Deny your flesh and all the cravings of it. Amen. And if you can't do that, what did Jesus say, y'all? He said, if you're going to follow me, do what? Deny but we don't. We can be so selfish and so self-centered. Meaning it's all about what we want, how we feel, and what we want to do. Can I get a witness? This is why you got a lot of marketing clowns walking around here today. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Hallelujah. It's just it is what it is, y'all. When you see somebody, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Daddy, come on. You can handle it. Come on. Come, come on, get up. Come on. <laughs> you are laughing. <laughs> Walk in front of the camera right quick. Okay. You, you, you see that man right there? And you see me. James, come on. Come on. Don't trip over the camera. Come on, step out front. There you go. Looking real good, son. Get, get move over there. You're hogging the camera. You see these men. I've seen people this shade. 
with red hair, gold hair, turquoise hair, red lipstick to get, oh yeah, oh yeah. Amen. Gold between the eyebrow and the eyelash. That's cock hair. Amen. All that stuff. I see men. Come on, somebody. See, that spirit done got so bad now the men doing it too. Can I get a witness here? They, these are the sons of Adam. Amen. Knew he wasn't supposed to eat, but because he gave it to him, that joke was still ate of it. Amen. Can I get a witness here? So now you got the man following the woman instead of the woman following the man. Amen. So it's on both spectrums now. Amen. But can you imagine someone? I said clowning. Come on, y'all. Amen. Church folk know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Thank y'all. Y'all give them a hand clap of praise. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. See, for some reason, we think if you my complexion is natural. That's what I knew myself. Right. I'm a little lighter shade. Right. And they think that's natural. Ain't nobody my shade. Well, I, well, no, because I was lighter as a baby. Now, I did have blonde hair as a baby. <laughs> Amen. And it turned red. It went from red to brown. That's what it, pretty much where it stayed. Amen. But we have to understand that people think that it's natural if they my shade. So I wanted to go to the extreme because that's what we do. We have gone to the extreme today. I'm talking about, how do we get here? I'm talking about holiness. Holiness is who? Uh-huh, go ahead. And, and, uh, and holiness is God, right? Holiness is Jesus, right? So if God says something, it's holy. Am I right about it? <laughs> Can I get a witness here? If he says do it, then that's what we do. Amen. When you love God, amen, that's what you do. Amen. Amen. See, y'all have to remember that some of us come from some serious strongholds. Amen. Amen. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. And it, I'm going to tell you something. If I, if, if I could just deal with a hat color, I'd be all right. Man, that was straight. All I got to do is put my hair back natural. Come on, somebody. It ain't 34, 36, 34, 36, 24, 36. It don't sound good to me. Amen. It don't look good to me. It's just hair color. If that's all I had to do, I come to tell you some of y'all got it made. It don't feel like nothing. You may not be saying amen. 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 No. I'm talking about women now. Amen. So some of you men need to say amen. Amen. Uh-huh. I wish all it was. But I came from some darker and deeper things. And people tripping over a dress, a suit. Uh, they tripping over a hair color. You, you mean to tell me that's little. You can't do you can't honor God in that sense. It's deep. Amen. There's some deeper things going on. Think about homosexual. That's some deep stuff. Yeah, it is. Come on, somebody. It's so deep God called an abomination. Hey Amen. Think about somebody in, in, living in adultery right now and don't know they're gonna have to get a divorce to get it right before Jesus get here. Right. Hey Amen. That's some deep stuff. You think they don't love their spouse? Some people done lived in a dungeon for 25, 50 years, amen, and got to get a divorce before Jesus get back. Because if they don't, they're going to die as an adulterer and a adulteress. Come on, somebody. That's some deep stuff. It's sad we got to look at something worse to realize, oh, man, let me go and do this because my situation ain't nothing compared to them. People who go through in marriages, this is why our testimony for me and my wife, amen, are out there so they can realize if we made it, you can. Amen. Mm -mm. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. How do we get there? We got here in this place talking about holiness, which is preparation for paradise. For without holiness, what? No man what? Shall see the Lord. Amen. Come on. He Amen. said, be ye holy because... Come on, say Come on, church. Amen. Say it, church. Saints, say it. Amen. 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 Be ye holy for I am holy. That's what God said. There's only one type of faith, and what type of faith is that? Who said that? So say it again. Holiness. He says, build up yourself. Somebody get me Jude. I ain't got to tell you what chapter because it's only one. Somebody get me Jude. Jude, read verse 20. Hold on. What did it say? Jude, verse 20 say, 
But ye, beloved, building up yourselves to your most holy what t- faith. What type of faith? Most. Most holy faith. Oh, is that right? So it's on one type of faith. It ain't non-denomination. Amen. It ain't apostolic. It ain't prophetic faith. <laughs> Amen. It ain't church of God, culture, or whatever we want to call it. it ain't Pentecostal. Amen. What type of faith we got? Most holy faith. Building up your what? Most Yourselves faith. on your what? Most holy Key reading. Faith. Finish it out. That's what Praying in the Holy, holy Ghost. Uh, is that right? Praying in, in the, the Holy ghost. ghost. Come on, somebody. Amen. Are you building up yourself? See, that way I don't be become your enemy because I'm preaching holiness. All right. You got something to do when you leave this church. Right. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. That ain't cock a doodle do. That's being led by God in your prayer. Amen. In other words, quit praying for God to bless you and ask him to move that mess out your life. Amen. Pray in the spirit. Right. Pray for something that's going to benefit you spiritually. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness here? You got people praying for dimples and bigger butts and all type of stuff. Really? Are you serious? This is the, this is the foolishness and the hour that we're living in. Amen. Well, I noticed my husband like these type of women, Lord. Give me some hips or something. Huh. Really? Mm. Is you, really? How do we get here, Pastor? Talking about holiness. I'm preparing you preparation for paradise. Amen. Let's finish this out. We're going to be long. Let's do this. Amen. So we're picking back up at 2 Corinthians 4 and looking at 2. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness. I'm not trying to fool you, nor handling the word of God, what? Deceitfully, by telling you we, that's how we got on the uh, prosperity. And I showed you that. But by what? Manifestation of who? Of the truth, which is Jesus, commending ourselves who? To every man's conscience in who? The sight of God. You ought to be preaching the truth because you love people, because you don't want them to go to hell. You don't want them to be condemned. Amen. You ought to be able to be preaching the truth to people because your conscience, amen, is geared toward God. How can you have a conscience being deceitful with the word of God? And no people are being condemned. Amen. What kind of love is that? Three said, but if our gospel, watch this, he make it plain because we ain't going to change it. But Paul lets them know in the Corinthians, he said, listen here. Y'all do what you're going to do, but here's the thing. But if, let me make, let you know this. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are what? Lost. I told you, if you leave here, I already know where you're headed. Because nothing but the word of God comes here. Amen. Yeah, I might tell you, ain't no need to come in. You might work on. Amen. Yeah, because you ain't hearing the truth. What else to tell you? Because you get yourself in trouble. Because to whom much is given, much is required. And to sit and get a direct word from God and you see it for yourself, why are we confused? Why don't we know better? Why don't we understand? Come on, somebody. Because there is a lying spirit in the church. And we don't deal, we don't, we don't spend time with God outside of these four walls. And half of this time, hear me good, is distraction. So we probably get, what, maybe 10 minutes out of an hour message. We might get 10 minutes worth, and that's it. And we call ourselves believers, we call ourselves Christian, and we found a problem <coughs> in, the te- excuse me, in the teaching before we found the problem in us. And the truth of the matter is, watch this. We used to say there's a terminology that the world used. We want our cake and eat it too. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. It's funny because, you know, we don't want to be cheated on. We don't want to be mistreated. We don't want to be shorted of anything. Money, whatever it is. Amen. But yet, we want God to be so faithful to us. Mm-hmm. God is only faithful to you when you're faithful to him. That's right. All right now. So let's not get that twisted. This ain't, this ain't that world gospel. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm teaching you the real God. Oh, you oh well that's good. Yeah, well, it might say something like draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you. It may say something like that. I don't know. You know? Yeah. Anybody ever heard of that scripture? Yeah. Draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you. Amen. We don't want to change friends. 
And I heard somewhere, I believe real Psalm 1 and 1, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor standeth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law shall he did what? meditate on what? Day and night. Then he becomes strong. You have to get away from some people when you get saved. I don't care who, who they is. Come on, somebody. If you ain't married to them, you better get away from them. Amen. Because the Bible says after that, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of raw. That's strong right there. That's all the nourishment you're going to need right there. And whatever he do is going to prosper. Amen. Come on, somebody. But we don't want we don't want to change friends. We want our cake and eat it too. How did we get here? Holiness. Preparation for paradise. Let's get on with it. Amen. Watch this. Four verses. In whom the God of this world. I told you. I want that world of God. Is that little G in your Bible? That's little G. That's little G. Amen. So we already know that ain't that ain't nothing. In whom the God of this world have. Oh, we know God don't blind us. Amen. Have blinded the minds of them which do what? Believe not. You better watch how you struggle with the word of God. Because God may view it as unbelief. If you got to be a cheerful giver, then you sure enough better express that word a little bit better. Amen. He says, lest the light of the what? Glorious gospel of who? Christ, who is the image of God, should what? Shine unto them. For watch what he said. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. Watch this. If I, okay. Let's if I come and tell you, God said this, this, and this, and that. I'm the one telling you, but where did it come from? God. God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. One thing, you know how kids is when they want to extort, their, you know, ex exalt their little power. They are no mama daddy said, go tell them, I said, clean up that room. They will walk in there, clean up that room. And when I hear them do that type of stuff, I said, no, nah, you tell them I said it. I script they little thought they trying to, you know, you're going to get a whooping. Now you tell them I said it. Because see, what's going to happen is they go down there and tell part of the story. They come and tell. Then they'll say, and I said, tell them they're going to get a whooping if they don't stop. They go down there and say, you're going to get a whooping if you don't stop. Now watch this. Now if they keep doing it, now they're going to come back upstairs and then they're going to tell again and I ain't, I'm going to act just like on him. Amen. Hallelujah. And watch this. I'm going to act just like they on him but now they want them to get a whooping but honestly you didn't go down there and tell them what I said. You went down there and tried to exert your little authority so the same authority you're trying to exert to me to make me move at your little beat and go beat my child for something you didn't tell them I said do it ain't going to happen. That's it. <laughs> Why Shadi and Benjamin looking at each other? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah. Amen. Let me tell you something. Don't let. <laughs> Make sure God is your authority. I had to change that a couple different ways. It went through my mind a couple different ways. I'm gonna say it like this. Amen. Make sure God is your authority. Come on, somebody. You got to let the devil know. Amen. Say to the Lord rebuke me. Amen. Come on, somebody. Because you, you know, I don't know where you're at. And you might not know where you're at. Mm -hmm. But obviously, we can cast out devils and, and don't be right. That's right. That's right. Obviously, we can prophesy in his name and don't be right. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we can do some many wonderful works and don't be right. Because he said, I'm going to say that part of me, he works over nickel. Uh -huh. Because they at least have enough sense to use his name. Amen. And we know the power is. How do we get here? Holiness. Preparation for paradise. Let's get this going. Amen. So he says this. For we preach not ourselves. And this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 5. For we preach not ourselves. But Christ Jesus the Lord. And our, ourselves your servant. For Jesus sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. Has shined in well. Our hearts. To give the light of the knowledge. Now we figure out what the light is. Amen. Don't you know knowledge of God is light? Amen. Watch this. Light of the knowledge of the what? Glory of God. In the face of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, I told you there was a dilemma between the flesh and the spirit. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring it down and we're going to bring it home. Here we go. But we have this treasure in what? Earthen, 
earthen vessel. Somebody said the flesh. Okay, that the excellency of the, this is for those people who think that they can do what they want to in their flesh as long as they love God. Amen. Nicolaitans taught that. Amen. Back in the day. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Nicolaitans believed that you could do what you want since your spirit is going to be separated from your body, that you can do what you want to in your flesh. Amen. And still go to heaven. Can I get a witness here? Not so. This that is, but we have this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency of the power may be who? Of God, not the world, not the devil, not your mama, not your daddy, amen, or your sister or your brother, amen, amen. Watch this, but the power may be of God, and there it is, and not of who? Us. Come on, somebody, and this is the preacher talking. We are, watch this, trouble. Now, here's what's going on. Your flesh said we are trouble on every side, but the spirit says, yet not distressed. We are perplexed. Your flesh says you are perplexed. Amen. Watch this. But not in the spirit says not in despair. Amen. The flesh will be persecuted. But the spirit says but not forsaken. Amen. The flesh will be cast down. Amen. But the spirit says but not destroyed. Amen. So who do you want to go with? The flesh or the spirit? So if I'm not. Did y'all miss that? Listen what it's saying. Seven again. If the flesh. Amen. Uh, uh, eight, if the flesh said, amen, I'm going to be troubled on every side. But then the God said, you're not distressed. Come on, somebody. Amen. If, if the flesh says, I'm going to be perplexed. But God said, not, but you're not in despair. Amen. If the flesh, amen, makes you the reason that you're persecuted. But God said, you're still not forsaken. No matter what you got to give up, who talks about you, who turn their back on you, God said, amen, you are not yet still, amen, destroyed, persecuted, but not forsaken, amen, cast down, but look what he says, but not, hallelujah, destroyed. He says, watch this, always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of who? Jesus might be made manifest where? In that same flesh. Some of you might have said 150 pounds of flesh. Still, God can do it. Yes. Look what he says. For the 11 verse says, For we which live are always delivered unto death for whose sake? Jesus. So why don't we die? All right. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. For we who, listen, for we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus sake. Watch this. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest. In, oh, there it is. In our what? Mortal, Mortal flesh. flesh. Right? Yes. Ain't no excuse, people of God. So then death what? Worketh in TH. I told you every day you're getting older. We started trying to fix this flesh up. And every day is dying. You're getting a little bit closer to death every day you live. Can I get a witness here? Now, death, amen, hallelujah, people of God. <laughs> Compared to the time we live, death is always new. So what I'm trying to tell you, you can be eight and die. Come on, somebody. You can be lit, lit younger than that and die. This is what he's saying now. For we which live are always delivered unto death. What he's saying now. Death is not in your control. Come on. Amen. Now, it depends on how you let, the, if you let the devil use you to kill yourself, you still didn't do it. You still delivered to death. Mm -hmm. Come on. Remember, death is, 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 is separation from God. You understand what I'm saying? Judgment is where we go. Come on, somebody. Hey, yes. man, people of God. Hallelujah. Listen to what he said. So we are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. Amen. 12 verse. So then death what? Worketh in us, but what? Life in you. Do you hear that? Death worketh in us, us meaning the flesh, but life in us meaning who? The spirit. You got to know that you're greater than your flesh. How would you feel if somebody came and said, oh, you don't look like Sade. And you tell them, I'm Sade. Come on, somebody. It's still you. Life in you. Listen what it says now. So then death worketh in us. It's working. But life is in you. That's your soul. Uh -huh. That's the part of you that's going to live. Amen. Somewhere. Yes. Do you know where you're headed? Come on. Come on somebody. That's right. Oh my God. We having the what? Same spirit of faith. Y'all hear this a lot. According as it is what? Written. Written. We what? Believe. 
Come on, somebody. We have the same spirit of faith according as it is written. That means we all believe the same thing. That's why we don't jump to this church and that church because they don't believe what we believe. They don't want to believe what's written. That's what the it is right here. We have the same spirit of faith according as it is written. He says, I believe. See, we believe what according what is written. And therefore have I what? Spoken. So we speak what is written. Come on, somebody. We also believe and therefore we speak. That is, we speak what is written. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Somebody said preparation for paradise. Preparation for paradise. All right. I want to show you something right quick. Go to Proverbs 23. We're going to bring it home now. I'm reading now. Amen. Proverbs 23. Verse 4 through 7, I'm going to go ahead and read for the sake of time. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath in what? An evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meat. For as he thinketh, listen good, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. You hear me saying it all the time, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Amen. So eat and drink, said he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. People who encourage you to do stuff, amen, that could cause you to mess up, why would I encourage you to drink when I know there's a possibility you can get drunk? Right. And the Bible says you ain't supposed to be drunk. That's right. Come on, somebody. Amen. I can't tell you not to drink, but why would I encourage you to drink? When we can't even get over little stuff. Come on, somebody. We don't we, we think we can just have loud nail polish and all type of stuff. Anything that draws attention to ourselves, amen, is not modest. What did the Bible say about it? Be modest. Come on, somebody. I knew something wrong with somebody went up on their stage looking like the village people, had a leather vest with zippers all over the place and a muscle. <laughs> I knew something was wrong then. I said, that brother is caught up. This is a dude. He, he dead now, but nigga ministry pastor just thought they can do what they want to do. Hey man, I'd rather wear jeans and t-shirt than do something crazy like that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Something wrong, y'all. We can't be fooled. God ain't gonna let you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. If you be one, it's because you chose that way. That's <laughs> so we see this. Amen. For as he thinketh in his heart, Proverbs 23 and 7, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, said he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. This is God warning us about people who push us or try to woo us into doing things that we know is not right. The Bible said that their heart is not with us. Do you get it? Yeah. See, I'm talking about preparation for paradise. All this is preparation. In my closing text, amen, along with Revelation 2 and 7, I'm going to read Luke 23, 41 through 43. And we indeed just live for, we receive the due reward for our, of our deeds. But this man have done nothing amiss. This is Jesus on the cross. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, verily I say unto thee, today shall thou be with me in paradise. Revelation 2 and 7 in my closing. Last verse. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcome will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Preparation for paradise. Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Once again, God has spoken to us. From his heart. If the Bible tells us that if everything was recorded, that there wouldn't be enough room in this world to contain the books if everything was written and recorded. God said a lot. But it also lets me know that if he left this book, he consolidated the things that was necessary. Come on, somebody. then we need to make sure that we don't take it for granted. 
Obviously, the things that we think that are my need, well, they're just immature. I ought to be able to do what I want to do. It's my body. It ain't. You created by God, and he made you how he wanted you. Do you hear what I'm saying? If God compressed everything into one book, that he said that if everything was recorded, it wouldn't be enough room in this world. And he consolidated and compressed it in one book. I'm going to tell you something. We cannot afford to overlook one thing that's in this book. And we better teach it. If I were you, I would just ease my way around in the holiness. Amen. Hallelujah, people of God. Don't let that lying spirit lie to you. Amen. Read your Bible. Ask God to fill your heart and you can get rid of all the worldly insecurities that you feel like you got to look like this Tom, Dick, and Harris, Sue, Sarah, and Sally to be accepted. You are accepted in the kingdom of God. If the world be against you, I'm going to tell you, it does not matter as long as God be for you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Can you imagine what Jesus felt like? Come on, we give him a half a break. Can you imagine what Jesus could have felt like in that final hour? Folk cussing that were with him, trying to act like they weren't with him. Couldn't get him to pray with him for one hour. And yet he he still he still died for us. Oh, excuse me, yeah, he, he still gave it up. He still laid down his life. Amen. I do pray that something has been said to make those that have heard and that are here. Amen. Amen. We do hope that you will consider the word of God. Please go back over the word. There are no hidden agendas. You're going to find these words to be as we read them. Amen. Hallelujah. God preaches himself. Amen. Amen. I'm just a messenger speaking what God has left for us to speak. And thank God for that. I do pray that the word of God will change your life. I pray that God will open your understanding in every area of your life. And remember until next time, God loves you and so do we. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Try to save it if you can. It did save last week.